Melody is the newest mythic brawler coming to the game, and she is the first member of a brand new trio, which I believe is some sort of Norse mythology type of trio, or maybe not mythology, but like that type of like axe battlers and stuff like that. She loves singing karaoke, especially the K-pop genre. And while she can be very sweet and pleasant at times, that can quickly change to being grouchy and malicious. Whatever the mood in, she's quite the performer and always grabs the attention of those around her in Star Park. Nintella time! You remember this melody forever. Harmony brings melody. Stick around to the end of the video to see all of her voice lines and pins, and some of them are very Korean. Melody's main attack is Monster Notes. She uses her microphone to fire little monster musical notes in a straight line that deal a little damage to whoever they hit. Whenever she lands one of these attacks, another monster musical note appears and revolves around her for eight seconds. Now, these revolving notes deal much more damage than her regular attack. They can go through anything, including walls, and they deal damage every single time they hit somebody. Each note is on its own individual timer, so they will disappear one by one in the same order that they appeared in. The melody can have up to three notes revolving around her at a time, and if she hits an enemy with her main attack while she already has three, the oldest note will disappear and then is replaced with another one. Now, another important thing to note, <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, is that these notes cannot be hidden in bushes, even if she is hidden herself. Now, her main attack doesn't just have to hit brawlers in order to spawn notes. It can be anything. They can hit pets, turrets, or whatever. Melody's super is catchy chorus. When she charges her super, she charges not only one, but three separate dashes that she can use each individually. They look very similar to Mortis's long dash, except they don't deal any damage at all. However, if she's got some musical notes revolving around her and she starts dashing next to enemies, they're gonna take plenty of damage. The super button will actually show you exactly how many dashes you have left, and the super cannot recharge until after you've used all three of her dashes. Now, she also keeps her dashes even if you use one or two and then die, so you still have to use the remaining dashes after respawn, but that's also a good excuse to get you right back into the action. Melody's first gadget is Perfect Pitch. When this gadget's activated, the orbit of all her notes increases in size by 60%, and the notes themselves will move 25% faster. You can do the math yourself if you want to, but this gadget actually won't make the notes hit stationary targets more than regular, but the range increase is extremely useful, and they are a little bit harder to dodge. This gadget only lasts for five seconds, so make sure you've got at least two or three notes before you activate it. Melody's second gadget is Interlude. This gadget gives Melody a shield that decreases in health every second, very similar to Edgar's gadget or Gus's super. Now, how much health the shields will have depends on how many notes are orbiting around her when the gadget is activated. So the shield isn't going to gain health if you spawn a note while it's active. The shield has 1,230 health with one note, 2,460 health with two notes, and 3,690 health with three. That's insane. Melody's first star power is fast beats. This star power increases Melody's movement speed by 8% per note that is currently orbiting around her. So with a maximum of three notes at a time, that's 24% movement speed buff. That is almost the exact same movement speed buff that Jackie gets from her gadget. That is insane. Melody's second star power is extended mix. This star power simply extends the time that the notes revolve around her by 25%. So each note will now revolve for 10 seconds rather than just eight. As you will see, Melody can deal some very decent damage in only two seconds. So this star power might be a bigger difference than you think. Now that we have a better understanding of how Melody works, it's time to compare her to every other brawler in the game, starting off with her worst test in the Brawl Olympics and making her way up to her best. Then we'll talk about how strong I think she's going to be. First up, we have the super damage test. Now, as I mentioned before, her super doesn't deal any damage by itself, so Melody ties with 16 other brawlers in the game for 60 second place. Next is the attack range test. Now, I should quickly mention that Melody's notes orbit her in a two tile radius. Her main attack, on the other hand, can reach across eight tiles exactly, so that puts her in 50 second place. Next, we have the area test. Since Melody's main attack spawns the notes, I kind of combine them into like her attack, and so her attack in total breaks 31 skulls, and when she activates her gadget, 18 additional skulls are broken. Since her super doesn't break any skulls, she breaks a total of 49. That puts her in 47th place, which suggests she'll be like decent at some area control. Next, we have the three attack kill test. I felt like I had to include the damage from her orbiting notes in this, but 
but adding up all the damage they deal for their full 10 seconds just seems completely impractical, so I added one tick of damage from each of them. Melody deals 8,280 damage with this setup. That's three ammo. That's enough to take out 59 brawlers in the game, and she ties with Rosa and Buster for 43rd place. We've only covered a few tests, and the rest of these, she's better than half of the brawlers in. Next is the one second DPS test. If she times it just right, Melody's able to hit the boss with all three of her orbiting notes and her three attacks all within one second. It's hard to do, but she can deal 8,280 damage in one second, so Melody gets 36th place. Next is the reload test. Melody's able to unload and reload 10 shots in 18.2 seconds, so she actually ties with Shelly and Maisie for 32nd place and has a pretty fast reload speed. Up next is the swarm test, and you might think that Melody easily shreds through the swarm with her super, but I tried this several times. There's just a lot more space between her musical notes than there appears to be. It doesn't take her long to spawn three notes, and then she has three good dashes and leaves one bot, which is easily destroyed. This is hard to do. Maybe some of you guys could do better than I could with this, but you'll have to let me know. She clears the swarm in 4.2 seconds. That puts her in 32nd place. Next, we have the assassin test. This is three seconds to deal your max damage. Now, this is better shown in the boss test, but the fastest way to deal burst damage to a stationary target with Melody is to move around the target in a counterclockwise circle. By doing this, she's able to hit the boss with six musical notes and four of her main attacks before she runs out of time. Melody deals 14,720 damage in those three seconds and gets 29th place. Next is the survival test. Now, Melody has 8,200 base health. That is already more than 57 brawlers in the game. Not only does she have a lot of health, but her second gadget provides her even more since I made sure she had three notes when all three gadgets were activated. Melody survives for 34.9 seconds. That puts her in 22nd place and suggests if you play your cards right, that you're going to be to survive with her with no problem. Next is the auto aim test, and even though her main attack doesn't deal very much damage, it actually has a really fast projectile speed, so aiming with her is going to be not very common, right? here. <laughs> auto aiming is the way to go. She deals 920 damage from six tiles away and gets 22nd place. Next is the super range test, and technically Melody's super is three dashes and one charge, so I let her use all three of them to determine her placement for this test. The reticle reaches five tiles away, but she she actually lands just past the reticle, and after three dashes, she ends 16 tiles away. That is enough to give her the 12th furthest super range, which is pretty impressive. Next is the boss test, and I suppose that if the orbit of her notes were a little bit smaller, her super would come in handy for this test, but like I said before, the fastest way to deal damage over time is to just move in a counterclockwise circle around the boss. Her gadget would just require her to move further away from the boss, which would actually make it worse. She defeats the boss in 20.2 seconds though. That puts her in 11th place and is very impressive, especially when you consider the fact that she's like considered an assassin, right? Next, we have the splash test. Since Melody can spawn notes even from hitting boxes with her main attack, she starts right in the middle of the boxes and moves counterclockwise in an outward spiral until all the boxes are gone. It takes her just 4.4 seconds to clear the splash test. That suggests she's gonna be pretty good at dealing with multiple targets at once. It's also enough for her to get 10th place. Next, we have the supercharge test. Her main attack and her notes each charge her super a quarter of the Way, so landing just one of her notes, she's able to quickly charge her super with her first three ammo. She fully charges her super in 0.9 seconds and ties with Meg, Surge, Leon, and Maisie for eighth place. She has a fast charging super if you use her right. Next, we have the box test. As I mentioned with the splash test, Melody can spawn notes by hitting the boxes. So once she gets three of them going, she can shred through any number of boxes. She finishes the box test in only 23 seconds. That makes her the fourth fastest brawler at ramping up damage in Solo Showdown. What's more impressive though is the race test. Melody spawns three notes before she starts her race in order to activate her first star power. Then she uses her super right off the starting line for a major head start. She has a normal movement speed without help from her star power, but she keeps three notes going the whole race, which gives her that 24% speed boost. She would have gotten an even better time if I allowed brawlers to use more than one super in this test, but she still ends this with a very 
very competitive advantage. Finishes it in 6.7 seconds and ties with Carl for third place. Now let's rank her in each of the modes, give some reasons for those rankings, and uh, we'll talk about how strong she is. Then you get to hear all of her sweet, melodious voice lines. First up, we got Gem Grab, and Assassins usually aren't very great for carrying gems for their team, but they're very good at getting rid of the enemy gem carrier and stealing their gems. And Melody's gonna be especially good at this because she's able to dash very far into the enemy spawn, then dash back out to safety. Her main attack isn't very strong, but it has decent range for being an assassin, and sometimes that's more important than the damage you need to actually control the map. I definitely think that she deserves the S tier position in gem grab. And honestly, Brawl Ball's probably even better. Absolutely S tier. This could be Melody's best game mode, and this is mainly because of how useful her super is. Brawl Ball is already a more close range game mode, which is good for her, but she basically gets three supers whenever she charges it, and each one of them can be used as a super shot with the ball, which is insane. So once she charges one super, she can super shot the ball, dash twice, and then get the ball and kick it into the goal. Like insane, you just can't give her an inch or she's going to be able to fire the ball up the map and easily fly by everyone for an easy goal. Skill is gonna absolutely play a big role in this, but like, you can't deny S tier absolutely all the way. Next we have Heist, and honestly, I did not think that Melody was going to be good at Heist until I discovered that her musical notes spawn even when hitting the Heist safe. So she just constantly spawns her, like you cannot leave her alone on the enemy safe, or on your safe. You absolutely cannot because she'll attack it and just spawn those notes and they'll just continually hit the safe and continually hit nearby enemies, thereby recharging her super. So you either have to like base race and hope you can destroy their safe and when you leave her alone on your safe or you have to try and prevent her from getting anywhere close in the very first place because oh man once she charges that super once then she's gonna be able to use her super to just go all the way across the map again and get right back to your safe she has to be s tier absolutely for heist as well next we have bounty and bounty definitely won't be her best game mode just because she doesn't really have the range that she needs and it's gonna be pretty tough for her to charge up that first super against good players that are you know gonna keep their distance and not get within those eight tiles that she has her for her attack range. That being said, once she just gets one super, I think she's actually gonna be pretty effective at getting those kills and then using another super to get back to her side of the map. I still think she's at least worth A tier in bounty, just not quite as game breaking strong as, uh, you know, in his other game modes, like Hot Zone, where she's gonna be S tier. Unlike Bounty, Melody, Melody seems to have just enough range to reach across the hot zone, so charging her super is gonna be significantly easier in this mode. Dashing in and out of the zone is just gonna make it impossible for enemies to keep control of it. Even her first gadget can make her musical notes cover basically the entire area of the zone, and you just can't dodge them. Definitely S tier for hot zone. As for knockout, I'm gonna go with B tier, okay? It's probably gonna be her worst mode because she just doesn't have the range, even though she is a strong assassin. Diving into an enemy Terry is always really risky with the consequences of a bad play in knockout, meaning that, you know, you leave your teammates two to three, and that's really hard to come back from. Even if she is able to get away after getting a kill, she's gonna have to charge her super all over again, which is not easy to do in this mode, especially if she's not right next to enemies. Overall though, she's a strong brawler so I think she's gonna be B tier. Next we have Solo Showdown, and I'm gonna go with A tier for this. Solo Showdown's another mode where it's kind of risky to be an assassin like her because there's a good chance she's gonna be facing off against other assassins, and fully utilizing her musical notes close to other assassins, it can be a little bit messy. Still though, I think she's gonna be pretty good in 1v1 situations. She's gonna be able to beat a lot of different brawlers, but even if she can't win a 1v1, she can almost immediately distance herself far away from the enemy. And the fact that she gets musical notes from hitting boxes and can open up them really quickly is a very nice bonus. I'm gonna go play it safe, call her A tier for solo showdown right now. She might be S tier though. As for duo showdown, I think Melody's gonna be S tier, okay? Very good for protecting her teammate as long as they stay close by. And since her musical notes do go through any number of targets, I think that it's gonna add to her total damage output against teams of two compared to just 1v1s. And if her teammate does go down, she can use her super to just avoid everybody until her teammate comes back, right? So like, she's a really safe option, I think, for Duo Showdown, and that's why I'm going with S tier. Honestly, I'm very impressed with how unique of a brawler she is. From what I've experienced with dashing around the map it, with Mortis, she is gonna be a very fun brawler to play. I'm curious to know what you guys think of her so let me know but let's hear those voice lines we'll see you in the next video idol mode on come on cho! it's noon chunga time catch my yuck to gong this was rehearsal right <gasps>
Stars never stop sparkling. Even a fallen star still shines. Don't let it get to your head. King Banne? Melodians, Taitogande! No, Duguni? Shininini? Fake love! Worst concert ever! K drama alert! This is the real K pop. I don't dress to impress. Bichasso? <laughs> that was unexpected. Ting chan he? Son nom ne? Kupai chin moya? No tia? No chum chinda? That was pitch perfect. For my melodians! K pop don't stop till I reach the top. You'll remember this melody forever. I might be your idol, but you don't own me. Wanna play? That's okay. Get in my way, then you'll pay. See you when you grow up. Woo! Tebak. Oh, pom mi chotta. Gabujima. Oh, tok tong sago. Orke. Woo! Reload, rewind. Keep this moment on my mind. Woo! I just slayed. Shout out to my melodians. Dreams come true. I'm your idol. I'm glitter, I'm gold, I'm a legend to behold. Straight to the top. 내가 엔딩 여정. 짜잔. 와우, 찢었다. 오늘 멜로디가 쏜다. Chi Chi Yo Yo, stand by. Harmony brings melody. Don't miss the show. Gonna rise to the top. Watch my enemies drop. So many songs to sing. So much joy to bring. Melodians, are you ready to rock? Big shout out to all my melody minions. Mic check. Hana, do, se. Mel, melody 준비됐어? 가보자고. 망관부. Let's go, Melodians! Shooting stars! Everybody, scream! Remember my name! Yeah!